Alright, we going? Oh, this is backwards. Why is this backwards? If I went right, I could get my first water, water Pokemon. But he's not really combat ready. So what I'm doing instead is going in here. I'm just doing this. There's two Pokemon that I'm interested in. You know what, I'll just go ahead and get this item over here. That's it, immediately. Level 10? Perfect. I'm doing Ember because it does more damage. I can do one more Ember. If I got a burn, that would have been good. I got so many Pokeballs. Why do I have so many Pokeballs? I'll go ahead and make Mahem my behemoth. You gotta have some behemoth in your team. And you just have him in your, in your team now. Now, at level 10, that's pretty high. I was going to train him until he got up to, like, level 6 or so. But if he starts at level 10, that's really good. But I don't trust that's good enough to take care of himself. So I'm going to do a little bit of leveling up. He has an advantage against every opponent up until this point. Every single opponent except for Brock, perhaps. Spear was pretty good. Thing is, he does have low um, HP. He's got really high defense, and he resists every normal attack. I don't think ground matters. He is very slow. I don't know that guy gets me immediately. I'm just gonna walk my way back. Go around her. And being careful because um I'm not that much stronger than these trainers. So I can do her, I think. Everyone does have something cute to say. The Pidgey's fine. They won't do any damage against me. If I do take um, silent attacks, I'll just go ahead and switch. Geodudes have good attack and good defense. As you can see, even a critical attack, a uh, crit critical hit doesn't hit, damage me very much. Even with these sand attacks, I should be, still be able to win. Now, I don't want to continue fighting is the thing. Because it's annoying. I said I should be able to win. It doesn't mean I... I necessarily win. Yeah, I'll switch only because of the sound attacks. I'd rather be fighting with a Geodude. But the sound attacks are just the worst. I'm really just trying to get speed on Geodude. As you saw, attack and defense doesn't really matter. I can go ahead and fight anyone they want to now. All these people have a disadvantage, but with every... Um, Pidgey that I fight, it, it's a problem. I think critical hits are supposed to do double damage, but I took 3 HP from that. Don't, don't know what to take from that. 
As you can see, I can out health these guys, but I'm not really that much stronger than. I'm stronger than them, but I can't take too many of them. I get a two times bonus against the, their attacks. Okay, well. In uh, the remake, Defense Curl is good because you can then uh, take advantage of that in a rollout. Rollout is d a double damage if you, if you use a Defense Curl. What? I think I still win. What's coming clutch? If I don't get the win, that means that um, all the experience goes to Inferno. So I should have a lot of money now. I can probably just buy potions. That allows me to get through all these fights without having to come back. I've always been bad about Oh, I gotta save all the money that I got. Can't be using my money. Money's there to be used. So, you gotta use that money. And, like, it's not optimal to always just be using that money. I think what I want is to get to a point where... Um, Boulder is... Five levels below Inferno. Well, how much of everything do I have? Three potions, 17 Pokeballs. So, let's go with seven potions. I can do five potions. I do want to catch one more Pokemon in Mount Moon, and one more after that. After that, should we have more than enough money where it doesn't really matter? Okay. And that matters. This game matters. I should be wearing shorts. Oh, 14, jeez. You can probably still win. Okay, I don't even have to worry about my offense or defense. Probably. Lear is the way to go for him, but I'm gonna win this one. Yeah, I'm not invincible or anything. I just have an advantage. Yeah, crit though. Let's do one more heal. I think after that, just start rushing towards the Pokemon Center. Then in Mount Moon, I'll do uh, Charmeleon for most random encounters, and then switch it over to Geodude for Pokemon encounters. So at the point where any rock Pokemon I come across, I'm at disadvantage. But at this point, it's only rock and water. I'm not going to have a deal with water for a while. Yeah, I touched you from five feet away. I have very long arms. Okay. Fucking good. That's, that's the only move I didn't care about.
Geodude is really good. Its incredible attack and defense is... can carry you. But at low levels, it's not that good. I actually don't like being not... Oh, yeah. If I had the Poke of Loot, that's probably fine, but I don't. Oh. Okay, well that was a pretty bad matchup, all things considered. But Behemoth is growing nicely. From Cerulean. You can't actually come back from Cerulean with that. So what I'll do is uh, I'll rest. Now I'll switch over to Charmeleon. Because Charmeleon has more speed. I don't need to run from a lot of Pokemon. And I see that Charmeleon is 5 levels above Geodude. Geodude's not going to get much better in terms of evolution or anything like that, or moves even. But it's really good to have a normal resisted... I think that's Bubble? No, that's a... Uh... Fucking Water Gun. I'm suspicious. Yeah, bugs. That's a good no matter what I do. What, really? Both miss? That didn't look like a crate. Not too mean. So my speed's lower. Does it matter? Think of it's a bit. Yeah. I'll go ahead and switch here because. Um, it's just annoying to deal with these guys. So the most overpowered strategy, if you just want to get through the game, catch a Nidoran or a Nidorino. I need a female male, I guess. And you can evolve them with a moonstone. And with that, they're so strong they can get through a lot of the game. If you're just trying to get some experience, you can get through half of this cave first, and then run back to the entrance, and then do to the other half. That's what I'm planning on doing. Especially with trainers that have stronger Pokemon than I do. Like, quote unquote stronger, Clefairy's not that strong. It's also the case where Geodude doesn't really learn very many good moves. But if you can get them Earthquake, which you learn at level 35, and Rock Slide, which they learn only through TM as it turns out, they end up really strong. So what I'm planning on doing is make my Geodude decently strong. And then letting it fall back a bit. It's already fallen back a bit. I mean, leveling up Geodude is going to take a bit. So here's one dead end here. You come down here, you do get some good items. 
If you want to catch a cl Clefairy, go ahead. I just don't know where the point of it is. You're going to evolve it with a Moonstone. Very limited item. It becomes pretty strong then, but like, your choices with Moonstone are very limited. And you're be way better off with a Needle King or Needle Queen. Way better off. Clefairy, Clefable, uh, Jigglypuff, Wigglytuff. Seven. Well, I ended up with seven instead of a. F oh, sorry, ten instead of seven. Any new dudes up here? There we go. Um, rockets are pretty weak against rock Pokemon. Pokemon gangsters. What you want to be doing is get strong enough for each Pokemon can handle its own and get a couple of them. I don't know if. Yeah, this time attack right off the bat is a problem. Just gonna go ahead and switch. Just gonna go ahead and switch. Every time you switch, you get rid of any status effects. A defense down, accuracy down. Accuracy down is the worst one. You can deal with everything else. It's a huge problem. Scratch means nothing. What I'm essentially doing is what is every time they do a stun attack, I'm negating that. There we go. It's like you never use stun attack. Rotata can't do anything against me. Of course, I could miss tackle. I think it's 95%, so it's not horribly weird to miss. At the moment, my attack power is so low that a miss does hurt. Zubat's not bad so long as it doesn't confuse. We should just try to. Oh, come now! Each life is physical, it doesn't matter. It's not resisted, but it's not that strong either. Fifteen, nice. Switch. If P up's good, should use it immediately. I'm not going to. I don't know if the sound goes mute for you guys when I switch off. It's a little bit awkward for me. I think I can take like a trainer or two.
Um, so long as they don't have Sonic Boom, these guys are fine. If they do, then it's a one-shot one -shot kill. Geodudes at least have very good physical attack. It should only be 10 levels before I get a good move on Geodude, but like, that is 10 levels. That's not inconsequential. One damage. Voltorbs do have great speed, so them out to me that makes sense. Good experience, really good experience. Oh, I can get this. Gotta get out and and um, restore my Geo dude. You probably could have seen it right there, but there was like like this loop I could have gone through. So I'm not too far from the beginning right now. Walking back is not that big of a deal. That's something that you should have to do, but it's something that you can do. The thing with Geodude is, is that the more HP that it has, the longer that it can last. Oh, I'm going to pause this. Did you guys see any of that? Probably not. Okay, where are we? Zubats are already too weak for me. We've been down there, but not down here. The fairy's pretty rare. Catching one is probably worthwhile, but not for me. Are bugs? If you put any effort into leveling up your bugs, you would have been an incredibly powerful trainer right by now. At this point in the game, even. I don't think that matters. I'm not going to outspeed anything anyway. Speed only affects whether you go first or not. Oh, nice. Was it like three tackles? Let's do a rock slide. Rock, sl rock throw. It's going to do like three times damage, yeah. Thing with rock throw is that, um, it's got a 75% chance to hit. It's, it's pretty sh strong at this point in the game, but it's really inaccurate. It's really not worth it. Definitely not in the, in the long term. If I could get some re repels, then this wouldn't be a problem. The problem is that, that, uh, that animation going in, I suppose. If, really, if I really gotta get out, I can use the escape rope. I'm really at a point where 
Yeah, let's just start off with Inferno and switch off. I'm glad I did, did that. At this point, I need more Pokemon to be leveling up. I didn't switch into Ge Geodude here. I yeah, definitely not. I think Bellsprout has Vine Whip. Yeah, it shouldn't have done that. Should have done Scratch. Coming up is a hiker, and hikers are rough at this point in the game. Oh, got one of more of these. Repels would be nice. We're taking get enough money. Definitely going to be doing a bunch of repels. And after a certain point, you do want to stop fighting all the trainers. You can tell I'm not fighting any of the random encounters anymore. I'm like 15, 20. Oh my god. This guy's probably fine with a ge ge Geodude. If they get enough supersonics in, that might be a problem. Oh shit, I should have done a rock throw. See how much more damage that, that does than anything else that anyone else can, can be doing? Tough took. Just getting through one of those 50% chances would have been enough. I feel like it up to level 31 with Behemoth to get him to where I want him to be. That crit didn't seem to do very much. I don't know if ground can be poisoned. It doesn't seem like that it could. I think I'm at the point where I just want to run to the end. situation where I'd want to be using water gun. Actually, I think I want to get out of here. I think that's the last dead end, and then it's a straight shot to the end. If I forget any trainers and I run into them, then I can just uh, defeat the first Pokemon with my Tremeleon and then switch over to Geodude. 
Yeah, I'll just run over to the end now. I think my dude is strong enough. I can't think of a situation where I'm weak against uh, one Pokemon with Charmeleon, but strong against with Geodude. But it's good to have a little bit of variety to be able to switch off. Switching off can be a big problem, as you saw with the confusion, with the accuracy downs. If you can just get through one Pokemon and then switch off, it's really good. With Rival 3, having a strong Geodude would be good against his Pidgeotto. And then I can switch off to negate those, um... No, it's fine, whatever. Oh, that was great. The thing with this gen is that every attack is a normal attack. I can't remember how strong uh, Mega Punch was. Why are you using Quick Attack? It's probably stronger than Tackle, but... Either way, you outspeed me. Don't they run against Flying types? Ugh. Probably worth switching over to my like, Rock type. So far, it's never been a situation where I've been confused and I actually attacked. There's that miss there. Another miss. Really gotta get rocks light. It's way more accurate, way stronger. The accuracy obviously being an important factor here. Spending four turns just trying to hit with a 75% chance. It's ridiculous. Losing 25% of my, my health against a weak opponent who I'm strong against stinks. You stinks. Using that water gun probably is a, a good idea. God, why do I play old games? Why do I play old RPGs? Encounter rates suck. Just give me good encounter rates in a modern turn based RPG. I don't have a single move that's n not weak against these guys, but I can take them. He's about as strong as um, Brock is. That's not what I wanted. I am much stronger than I used to be, though. I don't like that they they send people out with Pokemon that you just they can't catch yet. You should at least have the opportunity to catch these guys before they send them out at you. Nice.
There we go. If I had a... Need a run of either gender, that'd be really useful. I don't know what you do with this. Um, has more experience than Charmeleon right now. Anyway, Charmeleon doesn't take much more experience to get to Charizard than um, Geodude needs to get its decent moves before I evolve it. Should be able to make it to Cerulean. My plan after I get to Cerulean is to get a Bell Sprout this time. Um, I do need something strong against Rock for like fucking first of all. It has um, a really good sleeping move, which is great at catching Pokemon. So it can just be. And be my catcher for quite some time. I'm good on. Uh, TP or whatever it's called. I think this is kind of showing why you wanted to have a variety of, variety of different Pokemon. Once I get some evolutions, it gets a lot easier. But it's hard. <coughs> Until you get to about uh, Celadon. You might think with how overloaded you are compared to all these trainers. Um, that would be good until the next gym, but I'm really not. Poison type. I don't have any Earth or Psychic moves, so that didn't affect me very much. That's, that was a crit, huh? Also, he, he's got a normal move, that didn't affect me either. I do want Boulder to be decently leveled so he can do well against the Thunder Gym. to have high defense. I'm going to use some embers. I didn't catch a Paris. I think I need a Paris. So by the time I can use it, it's not going to be a good, good Pokemon. 
By the time you get Surf, the game's basically over. Surf is the only prerequisite to catching uh, Zapdos and uh, Articuno. Anyway, that, that's that dungeon done. Hello? There you go. And that's Mount Moon. From this point on, my options for decent Pokemon expand. I can get a dig over here. Which I probably can't just yet. Okay, so I can either go into the gym or I can go up north. Up north is two Pokemon that I want to get. As you can see, I desperately need. I'll go ahead and stop it here. <laughs>